You're like a puppy. Well, I haven't seen, <laughs> seen Georgie in a while. You guys haven't seen each other in a while since filming, or? No, no uh, since ADR. Okay. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's when I the real magic over. happens. Yes, exactly. ADR. <laughs> what were some of the themes that intrigued you about the script? I know it's based on a true story, but when you saw Adam Till and Fabrizio Filippo's script, what were some of the themes that intrigued you both as a director and as an actress that you wanted to explore with the film? Well, I definitely wanted to do something very different after finishing Narnia. Um, I knew that I couldn't go bigger, so it was very interesting for me to go smaller. And I thought it would be a real challenge to, to, to be doing something which was um, a lot more kind of, I guess, gritty, darker. Um, but a lot of the things that I, that I really liked about the script was actually just the dynamics between the people, you know, the relationships. You know, it's not really a sensationalized story. It really is about human emotion and human relationships. And I think that was something that I really wanted to try and portray. I was fascinated by the idea of trying to make a story where nobody was a hero or a villain, mm -hmm. that everybody was complicated and complex, and at any given point, they're sympathetic and then unsympathetic, and you know, to really pull the audience through this and see if I could take them through this journey and have them kind of root for the girls, even maybe past the ultimate sin. Uh, and that was the, obviously the huge challenge in it, and uh, I was hoping to try and pull that off, and I think we did, and obviously because of the performances. Yeah, well, the girls have a very, and maybe this is because of their lack of parenting, they have a very codependent relationship. Mm. Could you talk a little bit about the relationship between the two sisters? Yeah, it's a very interesting relationship. I mean, they give each other everything that you can kind of give someone. Um, they're mothers to each other, they're friends to each other, they're sisters to each other. Um, and it was fun playing around with that. I mean, me and Abby got to kind of just kind of run free sometimes and do whatever we wanted, which was really fun. A lot of the kind of really girly or really kind of silly stuff in the film is just stuff that me and Abby would just come up with and, and just do. Um, but yeah, it was also very interesting to kind of explore the power dynamic of their relationship. Mm. That was something that really interested me, me when I read the script. Could you yeah. talk about casting Abigail? Well, I was lucky that in my television movie experience as a producer, I had worked with Spencer Breslin, Abby's older brother. And so I knew the mom, I knew the agent, and so I had this great luxury as an independent feature to get a script to a big actress without an offer. And so Abby was always my first choice for Sandra. And then the challenge was finding someone that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. It was a, it was a two-character piece, so right. if the other actress wasn't as good as Abigail Breslin, who had been nominated for an Academy Award, then I wasn't going to succeed. And we looked in Chicago, New York, in Toronto, Vancouver, and we couldn't find it. It was like three or four days before we started shooting that my casting director in LA said, I have this tape from this girl outside of Leeds in England. She put herself on tape from her bathroom, uh, <laughs> but it's really good, you should look at it. I go, okay, and she emailed me the, the audition tape and I hit play in my office by myself and just burst into tears. And I started screaming, I found Beth, I found Beth. And that was Georgie Henley. Well, and you talked about having an Oscar-nominated actress in Abigail, but you have an Oscar winner in Mira Savina. Yeah. Talk about getting her. Yeah, uh, Mira yeah. actually came via James Russo, who uh, had been in three movies for me and was a very close friend, and I knew I wanted him to play Steve. And uh, he called me and said, you know, I'm really good friends with Mira Savina. She might be an interesting choice for Linda, and she's never played an alcoholic, and that might be interesting to her. So when I called Mira, she did say that was the thing that really was interesting to her, that she had never played anybody, but then she actually went to Calabasas, found a bar with, with housewives that drank every night. And she sat, they didn't know who she was, and she sat in a booth with them for three straight nights drinking. And so by the time she got to me, she was pretty experienced as a, <laughs> as a mom who drinks. That's some method <laughs> acting. <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> well, excellent. Thank you guys so, so much for talking to me. I appreciate it. Really Thank nice you. seeing you again. Yeah, I really love it.